Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is the word 500. So I start with crypt for that because the clues are kind of encrypted in a way. All right, the right word probably ends in the Y. Um, let's do something like, yeah, sadly, we have actually removed the chordal and replaced it with fibble. I find fibble more interesting than chordal, so I'd rather play that every day. Um, I think the right might be dimly, but also if it's not dimly, I don't get a whole lot of info. But again, the left word, the left word's probably depot. I think I'm more confident in that. Okay. Let's try dimly. Why not? Nope. Um, dolly? There we go. Depot dolly. All right, cool. Nice and quick today for the dordle. Let's do Fibble. So the way I play Fibble is I like to play it in hard mode, where I always try to go for an answer. So that means we need to identify a lie. Um, we just have to pick one, basically. I think normally I would choose to include one of the grays, but we have three yellows here. So I'm not sure if I can include. Maybe I can do like S, N, U, U I something, or U something. I, I, it doesn't seem to work. So maybe we could say, Wow, that one of the yellows was supposed to be green. Like, can I do UNI, for example? Mm, I don't see a way to do that. Or maybe I could do I something UN. Or. Hmm, it's tough. Could I do like QUI? No, because I don't have any lies. I have to include the N or S. Um. How about N? I don't know what to do here. Um, I guess I could include just the U and the I then. I could do like Q U I Quint, maybe? Let's give it a try. This this is lying. Wait, no, this doesn't have a lie. No, no, Quint doesn't have a lie. Um, Q U I, and then I need to not use the N. So we could do like quick. So the lie here is that the N was is not yellow, it's gray. So let's give that a try. Well, oh, okay. Uh, we have an X-wing on lies, which is... No, we don't have an X-wing on lies. The eyes aren't, aren't necessarily lying. Okay. I was like, if there's an X-wing on lies, that means that, uh, that, that there's a Q, a yellow Q, which seemed unusual. I think it's probably safe to say that this yellow Q is a lie. I think we're just going to go with that until proven otherwise, which means that's our lie. So this is what we're going with. We're going with there is no U, there is an N, and there's no Q. So and there's an I in the middle. So maybe like INT or something. Or really, it can be anything. Let's try like drink, D-R-I-N-K. So the lie in here is the U, the lie here is the Q. Oh no, can't do trink because there's no K. What am I doing? Um, how about bring then? That works. ING is a good thing to test. Um, I mean the G could be lying, and we could we could be ending in ring. Is there another word that ends in ring? Yeah, just with a W. Okay, so now if the W were lying, then it would be the answer. So there's a lie between these two, though, which is really handy, which means all of these are correct. Um, I think this is the lie, and this is the lie, and I think we're B-R-I and something else. Actually, I don't know. Oh, Brian with an E. There we go. Okay. Cool, I think that was a good solve. Quick, what, quick did its job. I included an uncommon letter, and then I could assume that when it turned yellow, that that was incorrect. <laughs> that was actually perfect. So I really enjoyed that. And I think these could have all been the answer. Um, so I enjoyed that as well. Cool, Fibble and five, nice. All right, let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. These are things you can yell. Surprise, ha uh, surprise and presto and behold. And voila. And tada. So these are things that like a magician would say after revealing their trick, or after after the trick works. Presto, voila, behold, ta-da. Let's go with that. 
bit of vocal fanfare. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Happiness and surprise are both in anger are emotions. So it's as simple as that. You can feel secure. Fear? Basic emotions? Okay. Um, all right, we're down to the blue and the purple. Win Adam. Adam is weird. Um, things that are red, fire and red. <laughs> um, land. Land and fire. Get is so weird. Um, maybe it's a fill in the blank. Okay, so think words that could be verbs here. Because I don't know what these categories are, but if it's a fill in the blank and it's a blank for a verb, get, secure, fire, and win, or land. Like you can land a plane, or win. Let's try these four and see what it says. One away. So maybe instead of. What do I want to get rid of? Instead of wind, maybe land? That's also one away. Oh, so that means wind and land are both in there. And then get, fire, secure is out. Maybe secure is out. This is my last guess before I have to actually figure something out. That's also one away. So I need to get rid of get or fire and put secure back in. I think. Let's get rid of fire. There we go. Obtain. Oh, that makes sense. What are these, though? Adam, carpenter, red, and fire. No clue. Ant. Okay, Adam, ant, carpenter, ant, fire, ant, red, ant. Okay, so these are actual kinds of ants. And then there's adamant. <laughs> okay, I get it. I I can I approached this completely wrong, but somehow still won. So that happens sometimes. <laughs> All right, you can you can kind of I've, I'm kind of figuring out how to logic my way through categories. I don't really know. I'm not sure if that's a real win or a fake win, but it told me I won. So there's that. <laughs> All right, let's do Word 500. So the way Word 500 works is when we guess a word, it'll only tell us the count of green, yellows, reds, red being gray in Wordle. Um, it'll tell us the count, but not which one's which. So that's kind of part of the game is figuring that out. Um, so let's do a thumbnail for this. Uh, I need to think of a starting word. Um, something current connections, maybe? I don't like spoiling the answer to uh, something in the thumbnail. How about voila? That's actually kind of nice. Gets three vowels. All right, that's good enough. Let's lock in voila. All right, so there's one yellow. One yellow is the worst possible result. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one of these to use again. Maybe the A, since it's the most common vowel. And we're just going to use all new letters. So if I do something like hardy, we can see just we'll see what happens here. Three greens in Hardy. So let's assume it's the most common three, and that we're A R Y. So this is kind of the the situation I'm guessing we're in here. Um, so what could this be? It could be a double R. So we could be something like carry. Okay. So this result means that we weren't right about 
our guess. So I think we could be okay with the A and the Y, or, or the R, but I really think probably this is what happened. Um, and then the H or the D is in. Something like hanky. All right, I think the A and the Y is in, and then I think that means that the D is in. So we're, oops, I scrolled it. So we're something A, something D, Y, I think. Oh, and I can use underscores instead of Xs, which makes it not turn red. Um, it could be double D. So we could be something like pat patty. Oh, now we're down to one green. Okay, so we got to go back to the drawing board here. I think this A being green the whole time makes sense. I think maybe we didn't end up with a Y. I think maybe we had an R here and then an H uh, here. And then none of these are in. H A R. How about harem? Oh, I got it. <laughs> Very good. All right, so yeah, I, I like I like approaching Word 500 similarly to Fibble, where I go for only the answer. It makes it more interesting to me. There are ways to kind of, if you if you don't care about doing that, there are ways to to get it quicker. But it can also just really confuse you. <laughs> so I think just always going for the answer means that you. I don't know. It just, it just feels fun to me. Oh, let me know uh, if that was fun for you as well. I think that was a fun solve. I kept being wrong in my assumptions and then being proven wrong quickly, which is nice. And then guessing that the A was in the word. I'm not too surprised of all of those that A was in, but it could have easily been any of any of the others. All right. Let's do polygonal. Uh, I think this is just assesses. <laughs> there you go. Was that the only word? Let's find out. That was literally the only word. <laughs> yeah, like what else would it have been? <laughs> Not, nothing, obviously. Yeah, you just can't form a word like that other than with S's and E's. All right. Nice. This is one you get You get in one or you do fillers. <laughs> and fillers will get you the answer pretty quick because you're going to try E's and S's and A's. All right. Nice and easy today. <laughs> That's fun though. I like that. Nice to have a little break. All right, let's do the mini. Oh, first and end are the same. I think I do river in this case, although I think it was just river, wasn't it? I don't remember. Let's do river. I think that different game was river. Um, I don't know. Is it like D E R D? No. Uh, what are we doing here? Maybe like just a, a an E R. I'm thinking E R here. Um, or it could be an R here. We could be like, treat, treat, no treat. Okay. Um, I will I've narrowed down E to be the, yeah, it's E, E, is there any other option? No, that, that's it. That's, those are the options. Um, everything's forced there. Erase. I don't know why I didn't think of erase. I was thinking about like irate. <laughs> I was like, that got stuck in my head. 540 words. Okay. Cool. Nice and quick. Let's do symbol. Start with blaze. A in the middle. Um, I like to do, what do I like to do? I don't know. Let's, let's do stand today. That sounds fun. All right. A wasn't in the middle anyway. Ooh. So we got yellows here. So the middle letter is probably an E, and then we end in ST probably. Maybe. Um, there aren't that many options, honestly, of what we could end with. Because we have to end with, we know it's not an A, right? So we have to end with two of these consonants. And I don't see how we're putting two consonants together other than ND, which is not going to be, or ST. Like, we're not going to do. We're not going to have a plural, so it's not going to be like DS or NS. So I think EST makes sense. Quest. Guest. Oops. The thing GWEET isn't a word. <laughs> All right. 
Quest, the quest guest trap. Nice. Stand worked out really well. I like that. Cool. Of course, it's another four, but what are you going to do? Could have had it in three if I had gone with guest instead of quest. But All right, let's do fusel. We're going to start with guest, and we're going to get the U and the S. So we don't know anything about G, E, or T, because these, these were incognito tiles, but the U and the S we know aren't in the word. Now we have to guess the word backwards. Um, let's do... Um, I just want good letters, like the I want the T, the E, the N, the L, maybe the A, the R. Um, maybe T R E tree. Maybe trend would be fine. We have to do it backwards. So T R E N D. All right, so now we know there's no T or E in the word, but there is an R. We're going to try that second. We're going to get a lie in this one, which is unfortunate. Always confuses things. Um, but we know there's no E now. That's good. Um, I could try the G again. But I keep wanting to end in E. Maybe, maybe we can end in Y instead. Um, Hmm, we could get the L. What if it was L? Oh, no. Actually, I was going to put the R. I was going to do like RR, but that's not going to work. Um, gravy? I like that. Thanksgiving's coming up. Ooh, okay. So we have a lie. Ooh, I don't, I don't know what the lie is here. I definitely want to try Y again here, because in this one, we're only going to get greens. So I'm honestly thinking of just, I don't know, I should go for an answer, but it might be better to put the RA there again. But uh, just to see if any of those yellows were lying and actually are green. Um, I can put the R. I can put the R first and put the A there again, but I don't see a word for that. If I went for, if I. If I do the RA like this, then that means all these are true, and I'd have to put a V or a G in the word. Uh, and I don't see how to do that. Um, we could just say there's no A in the word, that the A is lying. Um, I'm not sure if that helps. Glory? No, because we know the R is not fourth. I don't know. This guess isn't going to tell us anything anyway. Um, how about Rocky then? So Rocky is possible because the A could be lying. Okay, so let's go for that. Oh, so the Y was lying. We start with R. We have an A somewhere, which wasn't lying. There's just no Y. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to put the Y somewhere else, but let's not do that. Uh, not right now. Um, Thought of rabid, but there's no D. There's rabbi. Oops, that's double B. Rabbi. You know that this is this is wormal clues, so I don't think that's too bad. Although I'd rather get letters middle of the alphabet, but whatever. Let's do this. Oh hey, well, that worked out really well. So it is R A, and this is a C or an A. <laughs> oh my gosh, if it ends in C K, that'll be really funny. Um Uh, I don't know of a word that does this, though. Um, this could be another A. Is it Raja? It is Raja. Wow. Indian word for some kind of royalty. Uh, also the name of the tiger in Aladdin, which is how I remember it. 
<laughs> All right. I guess we're starting the blind with Raja. Oh, it banned the H. Oh, no, I can't start with Raja. Oh, no. Um, we'll start with something else. Uh, how about Glory? Because I wanted to guess that earlier. I don't know what happened there. Nothing from Glory at all. All right. This next one, we're going to get a lie. But I'm just going to do, like, Stain. Okay, what's our lie? I could just end and N again. I could put like a T here and I could try like um or maybe start with maybe start with S A. Uh or just put the S anywhere or put the I anywhere. Can I do something like this? And then just new letters. Cabin. Feels bad to do C's and B's for alphabetical, but we'll do it. Okay, so the N was the lie, which means we, there is an A somewhere, it's just not here. It could start with A, which seems reasonable given that the C was orange. So we'll put the A here, and that's, that's all we know. <laughs> it starts with A, and then now we have to repeat a letter. Um, so what am I going to do there? Maybe asset? No, we know there's no S actually because the N was the lie. Um, uh, let me get a cough drop while I think. How am I going to repeat a letter and start with A? I could put another A there just to try to see if the A is in one of those places. Does that help me? <laughs> Aquas. It accepts it. I don't know if I like it. Um, you know what? Let's do it. This word, this game does technically have some plurals in it. I don't think it would be aquas. All right. All we learned is we start with A. So literally all we know about this word is we start with A. There's no I, T, or S. I need to remember that. Well, we know there's no... Oh, yeah. This didn't tell us that either. Yeah. There's no I, T, or S. Or N. I bet there's an E somewhere. Um, so if there's no I, uh, yeah, there, there's got to be an E somewhere. Um, does amend work? No, the, the middle can't be an E. Ooh, that's good to know. Because we tried B in the alphabetical, and B is within three of E. Wow, okay. So if there's an E, it's like here or here, probably here. I don't think we can put three consonants in a row before the E, so we know there's not two A's. So what would it end with? E can't be T, can't be N, can't be S, could be E D. Um, that seems reasonable. And I need two consonants here. Ooh. Uh maybe? You know, the N could be in the word, just yellow. Does that help? Ooh. I can't actually think of a word that does that. Um, but what else would be here? That's really it. It's got to be a D, I think. We'll see, but... I can't think of a word. Apt. <laughs> um, aft. Um, there's no T. These aren't Ds. See, I want to do something like aimed, but we know that this I is not lying because the N was lying. There's no I in the word. Neither of these can be... E. Oh, the, the E could go here, but what's an A-E word? That doesn't make any sense. Um, 
amped. Whoa. Okay, this word has to be backwards, unfortunately. But let's think about what this word is, because I have no idea. Um, oh, could it be a skew? No, there's no S. Huh. Oh, aquas wasn't possible, because we knew there wasn't an S if the N was lying. Darn. Anyway, um, uh, aquas was a weird guess anyway. I just couldn't think of how to repeat the A or anything. Um, maybe I should have thought harder about that one. I could still include an N somewhere, but not at the end. So what's this end with? Could it be like double E? Hmm, let's see how. Can't be a T. Can't be an I, can't be an A, F, H, J, Z, X, Annex. I think the word is Annex. So we're gonna guess Annex backwards. There it is. Wow. <laughs> the the lies are so tricky sometimes. I mean, look at this. I knew the end was a lie, but the fact that this ended up gray, just because it was a wormal hint, maybe just exclude the end entirely. I could have guessed annex here. That would have been that that would have been possible to just get annex right there, but I'm not sure if I would have. Annex is a tough word for sure. All right, cool. Nice, nice way to end the uh, the puzzles for today. I hope you enjoyed them, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.